So here's two integrals that are almost identical, but they're going to require two different integrations at the very end. Both of them cannot be solved using partial fraction decomposition. Let's go ahead and work them out together. Let's focus on the first one. Again, no partial fraction decomposition, and it looks like the bottom could almost be used as our U. Because when I take my du here, I get 2x plus 2, which is almost what we have in the numerator. So this is where we're going to have to kind of rearrange a couple things. And let's introduce a 2 and a minus 2 on top. That helped me rewrite the integral so that now I can separate that into two separate integrals. And that first one is where we use u substitution. So our u is going to be the u that we had chosen in the very beginning. And you'll see that the 2x plus 2s cancel out. So that's just going to be the integral of 1 over u, which is natural log of u. I'm just going to move stuff here. And now I'll rewrite it. And that's the integral that we're going to start focusing on. Because we couldn't use partial fraction decomposition, we're going to go ahead and complete the square. This is one of those times where I highly recommend that you review completing the square because it's going to be something that definitely shows up in higher level math, especially Calc 2. So use this time to kind of prep and get ready for completing the square. Okay, so let's see. Now, as I mentioned in the very beginning, this is a unique integral that we should definitely have memorized. And if you notice, that's just an arctan. And I have a separate video that talks about the arctan and the other integral in the second example. I'll mention that at the end again. There we go. Not too bad of an integral, right? But of course, because we couldn't use partial fraction decomposition, we had to kind of use something else. And that's the way we approach it every single time. So let's go ahead and erase part of this, my work here. And we're going to work on that second problem. Let me just erase more things. As I'm doing this, I just want to thank you for being here. And if you like what I do, please support by subscribing, following me on TikTok, on Instagram, and on threads now. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to focus on this one. Again, as I mentioned, very similar. We cannot use partial fraction decomposition, and it looks like we could use use substitution. But once again, we're missing that too. So this is what I mean. If I make this my u, then my du is 2x plus 2. And we don't have that in the numerator. So that's where we have to introduce a 2 again, and then a minus 2 as well. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We have 2x plus 2. Once again, minus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 6 dx. And let's separate this in, into two different integrals. Looks like I wrote the wrong thing there. Okay, cool. 
So I'm sure you don't need to see the work anymore, but that first integral is just gonna be a u substitution where my u value is a denominator. So this is just gonna turn into a natural log of x squared plus two x minus six again, just like the first example. And so now I'm left with the one integral here that we need to go ahead and integrate. And we're gonna use the same thing. We're gonna complete the square. So don't forget, when we complete the square, we have to divide the b value by 2 and square that. So that just gives me a plus 1. And because I have a minus 6, I still need to subtract the 1 from the other side there. Okay, almost done here. And we're about to arrive at the second type of special integral that we should be very, very, very familiar with. And there you go. And if I made any, mis any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. But if you notice here, this is instead of a u squared plus a squared, that will be an arc 10. This is a u squared minus a squared. And that is a very special type of integral that I'm just going to go ahead and write out here. And like I mentioned, I have a video on that where I discuss this type of method. And I highly, highly suggest that you kind of look at that video. I'll uh, make sure to kind of put a thumbnail somewhere here on the screen so you can look at that. But there we go. All of these are just going to require very unique methods. You have to kind of be a little clever. But overall, it's easy to arrive at the answer. I hope that helped, math nerds, and I'll see you real soon.